chiles, pepino, nopales, tomatillo, calabazas. Calabaza. Yeah. Mucho comida para tu familia. Sí. What's up? Crop Monster TV season two. Yours truly, Nikki Bobby, is taken off on a road trip in the streets, in the fields, in the food banks, telling stories that matter. Local, regional stories of people doing good work, creating good news, doing work that helps each other, our neighbors, our community. Giddy up! Check it out. Hey everyone, Nikki Bobby here in uh, Clear Lake, California, Lake County. And I'm here with two wonderful people who are leading up community gardens uh, for the Gardens Project. How are you doing today? Great. I'm great. Okay. Yeah. I'm Ava Ryan. Um, I am the Gardens Project Manager for Lake and Mendocino Counties. And I'm Taylor Jamison, and I am an AmeriCorps Vista serving Lake County this year through the Gardens Project. Giddy up. Tell us about the Gardens Project here, Ava. Um, so our, this is our 10th anniversary. We've been around since 2007 in Mendocino County and since 2015 in Lake County. Um, and we work to address food insecurity by building community gardens. Mm -hmm. um, our slogan is empowering community one garden at a time. One garden at a yeah. time. Yeah. How many gardens do you have going? We have at least 45. 45 yep. gardens? Yes. What's the spirit behind that? How do you, what's the magic to making that many community gardens happen? The magic is community empowerment and community leadership and community ownership. Mm -hmm. um, so all of our gardens have leadership teams. They're all self-managing and we're sort of the overarching um, team that helps assist them when they need assistance. But some of our gardens we almost never hear from because, and that's what we want to hear because they're doing great and they're growing lots of food mm -hmm. and they're doing their own thing and they don't need us anymore. What are the problems you're trying to solve and what are some of the impacts or glimmers of hope you're seeing? Sure. So here in Lake County, about one in five people is food insecure. Um, and that population obviously is, or that number is much higher for seniors um, as well as for um, folks who were hit very hard by the fires here in 2015. Um, and Clear Lake is sort of the center of a lot of that food insecurity, which is why we do most of our work mm -hmm. here. Communities are very spread out. Gro they're, not every store, every community has a grocery store in it. Mm -hmm. um, that's also problematic. And so creating little pockets where people can actually grow their own food is very, very important. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We have tons of gardeners who not only improve their physical health by getting outside and eating better food and exercising, doing a little gardening. Um, but we have gardeners who are getting off their health medications, their, you know, heart medications, their diabetes medication, they're getting their health under control um, by being out here, by eating well, and they're helping lower their stress. Um, have better clarity of mind, get a refreshing green Shazam. Break. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> they're feeling a lot better about themselves both physically and mentally. Awesome. Mm -hmm. What what fires you up about this work and what is your hope for your future in the, the world of sustainable agriculture or community building? Well for me um, there's the aspect of local food but there's also getting people who aren't talking to each other in their communities having conversations making about the local links. food and making the links about health and just empowering the whole community to be involved in local food, which is really important. If you had a call to action, Ava, what would it be, folks getting involved in stuff like this? Sure, well, if you are local, you can always donate to us. Mm -hmm. um, our website's gardensproject.org. You can find us on Facebook mm -hmm. at NCO Gardens Project. If you see a need or you have an idea, of course look around and try to find folks doing things that you can tap into. But if some problem's staring you right in front of the face, just like this organization was founded, you can go out and start. And I think that would be a message that we can all get on the same oh, page on, right? Yes, absolutely. All righty. All right, folks, we're just gonna pan around here. Here's the community garden. We've got some corns. Mm -hmm. We've got some good soil here donated by which company? Cold, Cold Creek, Creek Compost. Cold yeah. Creek Compost every Hi. year, about 15 grand worth of compost. Back in the background there, we've got our new friend, Happy. She has made a temple devoted to the Native American spirits in her garden. And we're just panning around. There's open spaces. Lots of open mm -hmm. space. And at uh, any rate, love you guys. Thank you very much for your time today. I know you're very busy with your work. Mm -hmm.
and it's an honor to be here for Crop Mobster TV. Great. Thank you. All right. Thank you for coming out. Yes. All right. Shake and bake. So with that, I just want to thank you so much for your support. I want to thank our partners for their support. This can only happen as a team. Farmers, gardeners, hunger groups doing actual work in their own communities. Hero, hero. What? Come on. Uh, with regards to grazing or with regards to insurance? There we go. Shazam! <laughs> <laughs>